There's the Chicago situation, which do you want to take just like two minutes and talk about how Chicago is like the most depressing place in the NBA? Because I know that's a hobby horse for you. And they've, there's certainly no reason to not feel that way right now. Yeah, it's just this like such a stubbornly oblivious organization. And I feel just so bad for their fans. Um, I, you know, you see Mikhail Bridges get the Nets get five first for Mikhail Bridges. And then the like Alex Caruso is not better than Mikhail Bridges, but he is better in some ways. And to get and he's also older, but like to get just Josh Giddy for him, like I, you know, it's just it's it's a lot. Um, and I think that this offseason, one of the things I wrote about was the Bulls and how uh, if this is a real pivot to a rebuild and a, a, a tank job when there's not a ton of teams tanking, then that's amazing and they should be applauded and it could go a long way in terms of just setting this organization on the right course finally. Um, and that means letting DeMar walk, uh, obviously trading Zach Levine and trying to get something for him. Um, shopping Nikola Vucevic, you're probably, I don't, you know, that's going to be a tough one. I don't know what the market is there. You might have to go to Facebook marketplace or the, like the, uh, <laughs> you know, f- you know, go free kind of, you know, like anybody want free to a home if you come pick them up kind of situation. But just like have your giddy Kobe White backcourt. I would bring back Patrick uh, Williams if the price was right. He's a restricted free agent, super young still. And be this fast, uh, up-tempo, fun, absolutely terrible basketball team next season. And I think they're, 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 their first-round pick is owned by the Blazers, I believe, but it's top-ten protected. You, you, like, you can't just make the plan and not get that pick. Like, what? What is going on? You ha- this is a perfect year for it. It's a very good draft, supposedly. Everyone says that. Um, start over. Like, there's no. It makes no sense. You can't have Demar and Giddy. Like, it j- just what are we doing? So please start over. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, change your reputation. Change how you're perceived around the league. And this is a good opportunity for them to do that. And I hope they do for their fans' sake because it's been just a long, tough road for these people, these poor people for years. I mean, they can always, you know, both fans can decompress and, you know, not stress out by watching the bear. It'll be less stressful than dealing <laughs> with uh, the Bulls.